Hello everyone, welcome back. In today's video, let's take a look at how we can do data analysis in Excel using a date column and date functions. But before we dive right into it, not forget to subscribe in my channel for the latest of data analysis using Excel, Python and Pandas. I also have an entire Excel series where I cover data analysis using different techniques in the online version of Excel. Do not forget to take a look at that as well. I'll leave a link in the description. So let's dive right into it. We have some employee data in this uh, data set. I will leave a link to the data set from where I've downloaded so you can download the data and follow along with me. And I'm using the free online version of Excel for the same. By the end of the video, you will see how to analyze your data using the date column and the date functions in Excel. So stay tuned and watch the entire video. So in this data set, we have the employee ID, first name, job title, department, business unit, and some other fields. Now let's see how we can apply intelligent analysis using the date field. So let's take the higher date field for this example. So I'm going to insert a new column. And now we want to break down this data by year, month, quarter. A lot of data is analyzed, especially finance, uh, financial data by quarter and week. So even though this is not financial data, we, let's see how interesting insights we can get by breaking down your, uh, your date field into different periods. So first let us say higher year. And I'm going to use the year function year function let's make this e to equal to yeah and i'll call this this cell let me just delete this year function pass the cell close the bracket and now i'll just copy this down double click this and i've got the higher year now let me add another column say i want to find the quarter break down the data by quarter so higher quarter and now let us do this. For this, we can use the month function. Pass this. Close the bracket. And divide by 3 because we want to find the quarter. We can round this up now. I'm going to click here and call the round function because we don't want any decimal points. So round up function. The round up function. Round up. Okay. Round up function and i'm going to pass zero because i don't want any decimal points and i'm going to hit enter now i can make this more interesting i can also append q so that it shows me which quarter so i append the character q use the ampersand sign and hit enter and now i just copy this down and it automatically divided my data by each quarter you can see that now let us Insert another column to the left and break this data down by month. Month, higher month, month. And now let us do equal to month, pass the cell and copy it down. So we have broken down the data by month. And lastly, let us do by week so we can get analytical data by week as well. In some insert a column to the left, do higher week. And you can use the week num function. Week num, pass this and close this. Let's append w. Let's append w so we get the week again similarly and ampersand sign and hit enter. So we have each week. Okay. Now we have broken down the data by quarter, month, week, and year. Let us see what data analysis we can do. So let us insert a pivot chart a, a pivot table from this data instead of pivot table okay for the entire range okay new worksheet okay so now let us see let us analyze the data by quarter i'm going to say show field list okay i'll copy the higher quarter in the rows section i'll copy the employee id as a count in the value section okay now just let's insert a chart here Go here. Let's insert a simple column chart. Okay. And you can see I can get nice statistical analysis of my higher data by a each quarter. So you can clearly see that it has shown me in quarter two there's an increase in hiring. For all the years that I've been hiring, in quarter two there's an increase. So there, there must be I've been getting some better business 
or some new customers or what there are some different reasons possible but quarter two is a uh, part which shows me i mean getting a better hiring so let me delete this grid line to make it more clear and now we can see this data so let us analyze another way let us analyze this by year and see the trend of my hiring we can see obviously that in quarter two i'm hiring more but let's see across the years how we have hired or how the uh, employee employee is hiring so i'm going to copy this and let's add another pivot table below okay now let's remove this i don't want to hire by quarter I'll remove that and i just put the hire year in the row section okay now let us insert a different chart let us insert a line chart in this case so i'm going to click on this get a line chart okay again let me remove the grid lines so that it's better visible all right and now let us go to this chart and we can see there's an increasing trend in my hiring over the years that means the company has grown so let us get some more interesting insight from this let's click on format okay and let's see if we can get some more interesting details from this chart okay let us go to the uh, let's see what do we want to do let us go to the series okay and you can see the trend line here let us switch this trend uh, this trend line on okay we can see there's a trend showing the uh, a, a linear trend let me try to fit this more accurately so i'm going to choose polynomial here and let me choose i think order 3 will give me a better approximation of my data and you can see it has fit this this curve very accurately now let me do something more interesting let us see let us see the equation and values let me switch this on and let us display the r squared so this shows the equation so if i want to predict my future hiring based on the future years i can enter this equation and enter the value of x which is the hiring and it will uh, years and it will give me the expected hire of the number of employees that i i i will expect to hire in the future years also we can see r squared is pretty good here it shows that 95% of my uh, x variables can be explained by my y variables if you want me to make a, a detailed video on how to implement uh, how to interpret your r squared or adjusted r squared do let me know and i'll make a video on that i have also i will also cover that uh, some of that in my machine learning videos as well in python so now from this uh, let us do something more interesting and let's say we want to forecast in my future years say i'm going to add four more periods i add four year in the and click on enter so my next future years what is the trend of hiring automatically you can see in the next in a few years i expect to hire more people at the uh, almost uh, 110 employees in the by the year 2000 2000 and 24 from this data so you can add projections as well so you have seen how we have got interested interesting insight only by breaking down the data into different periods you can also try some more analysis using the month and the week uh, weekly data i believe that up to you if you like this video do leave a like and a comment on my video on any other topic you want me to make please consider subscribe to my channel and do follow along for the latest of analysis in excel python and pandas thank you